So my book is called Exhibiting Blackness, mm -hmm. uh, African Americans in the American Art Museum. And <clears throat> my first career is uh, as a museum professional. So mm -hmm. working in education in the Oakland Museum as an intern in the National Gallery of Art in DC, um, and then LACMA in education for many years before I started teaching. Mm -hmm. And um, so some of the tensions that you're talking about or that we've been talking about in terms of um, uh, blacks and whites, about a sort of official history mm -hmm. and the kinds of things that happen behind the scenes, all mm -hmm. of that sort of leveraging and balancing and mm -hmm. debating. Mm -hmm. So that's very much part of the art world. Mm -hmm. And so my book is basically a history of how African American people have survived uh, the art world in America, the mainstream art world. So mm -hmm. looking specifically at important exhibitions that featured the work of black artists. Mm -hmm. um, since the, the first uh, exhibition of uh, art by black artists, which mm -hmm. uh, began as a, um, a segregated tradition. So we're talking about segregation mm -hmm. as a tradition of uh, mainstream art museums in America. Mm -hmm. So, um, it's, it really is a history of, of racism in the art world focusing on, on African American people. Mm -hmm. And so much of what I learned was the story to be told came through the archives and going into like the um, Museum of Art in Baltimore and mm -hmm. peeling away, typing papers from each other because they've been smashed together for 50 years, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. reading letters from curators to artists and, um, community people and curators mm -hmm. and talking about uh, the need to create a strong narrative in terms of visual representation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of uh, black people's lives mm -hmm. and contributions and talents and mm -hmm. skill sets and um, and then reading all of the debates about why that couldn't be possible was really fascinating and a story that from the archives needed to be told. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, um, first career in museums, the kind of um, tensions that I heard as a museum worker about uh, different exhibitions that we would have or artists that we thought should be in the collection and then the resistance against that mm -hmm. gave me a real impetus to write about racial politics historically. Mm -hmm. um, when I was at LACMA, we had a, an exhibition of the Harlem Renaissance. Mm -hmm and called Rhapsodies in Black, and there were so many people who I would hear in the gallery saying, oh, this is the first exhibition LACMA's ever had with a black artist in it, or mm. I didn't know there were any black artists, or uh, there just seemed to be no history recorded, at least in any convenient place, of, of the struggles of, of African Americans who wanted to get into museums to show their work. Yeah. Um, want it to do something in terms of having a presence besides security. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and then another push to just say, we need to build our own institutions, which is something that you've been talking about growing up in Detroit. You know, one of these ways in which you proceed. Should we deal with this sort mm -hmm. of civil rights issue or mm -hmm. should we be able to build our own empire somewhere else? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. um, all of that is, is fascinating to me. Mm -hmm.